driving an engine. Actually, I did drive a train once. <laughs> well, so, good. Anyway, yeah, it was a porter. Make sure we're staying seated in our seats at all times. Please keep your arms your legs aboard. Nice quiet morning today inside the park. Let's see if we can spot any wildlife out there. Here's some wildlife right here. Yeah, there she is. Of course, plenty of ground squirrels. We shall see what we find. So you can remember that. There's the ponies over there. Oh, here we go. That's a nice... monument we're going to see that's coming up here the right side of the front of the train on the original entrance to Irvine Regional Park first opened in the year 1897 126 years ago James Irvine donated 160 acres in order to establish this park today the park is now down to a grand total of 491 acres Coming up here on our left side on the upper lake, you're going to see the oldest building at the park. That is the boathouse. It was built back in 1914. Up there you can rent paddle boats and land bikes. The boathouse opens up at 10 o'clock daily. They also got a snack bar up there too, which is open every weekend. Pretty quiet out there on the lake right now. No boats that I can see. Still a little early this morning. We'll see some of the bike models out on display outside the boathouse when we sum it at the top of the hill here another minute or two. The zoo features animals native to the southwestern United States for the most part. The zoo opens up at 10 o'clock daily and it'll be operating until 3.30 today. 4.30 you can visit on a Saturday or Sunday though. It's a $2 admission at the zoo. Kids two and under are free. That looks like another monument over there. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, there's a cannon up there. Uh, okay. See, there are all the We're going to go into the, the upper loop now, up through the oak grove. You may notice we're surrounded by several California coastal live oak trees. Many of them here span several hundred years old. The live oaks are the darker colored trees with the small dark green leaves on them. There's also plenty of sycamores around here too. They have a lighter colored bark and some larger sized leaves. Those sycamores and oaks are the two most common trees you're going to find here native to the park.
of the yellow wild, whatever they are, <laughs> pretty yellow. Oh, that does look pretty. You have a wonderful screen on here. Well, we're going to go around another curve now. We will climb up one more small sized hill. closest to the front of the train. It's an octagonal shaped building. That is the Nature Center. It's an indoor museum. You're going to find it open on the weekends typically. It's free admission at the Nature Center by the way. It looks like the lights are on inside. They might just be open today. Some good days they will open. On the right of the Nature Center, the long building in the back many years ago was a soda fountain. Today it operates as a county conference room. And the last building up here is the outdoor theater. Right next to it's a bronze statue of James Irvine II, founder of the park. The statue is titled The Winds of Change, and it faces east into the prevailing Santa Ana winds. Well, that's interesting that those are tables to sit at for the outdoor theater. Off the right side of the train, you'll see the bird bath. It was built back in 1919. It's been keeping the park's birds clean and hydrated the last 104 years and working every day since. This area we're traveling through right now pretty active with squirrels this morning, so keep your eyes open. Yep, look, oh, that, see. oh, that's the kids on a field trip. I've been the big oak tree we're now passing now in the middle. It's got that bump at its base and the big branches on the ground. The tree is estimated to be around 400 years old. The branches fell off almost three years well, there's ago. There's the bird now. bath this over July there. That's the fence mark around those there. Oh, right in there. They're remaining yeah. there. Well, the rain we've gotten earlier this year, it's definitely brought out the greenery out here in the upper loop. You can't miss the mustard plant, all of it there on the right mustard, side. that's, that's what it's it. called, yeah. Now, despite its yellow color, it's known as black mustard. It's not native to California. It was brought over here by the Spanish. They were planted all along the El Camino Real Trail, where the California missions were built on back in the 1700s. The closest mission to us, of course, is the one in San Juan Capistrano. Over here. With that. Oh no, that's the same lake. We've looped around. <laughs> oh, it is yeah. the same one. <laughs> and we are leaving the upper loop now. We will make our way back onto the main track. We're going to crest by the lakes again down the hill. On the far side of the upper lake, there's a Civil War era cannon out there. It was built there oh, in 1853. It guards a stone monument that sits behind it. The monument is a Spanish American War Memorial. The plaque on it honors those who lost their lives in the sinking of the battleship Maine back in 1898 in Havana Harbor, Cuba, marking the beginning of the Spanish-American War. The plaque is made for metal from the battleship. The monument also honors those from Orange County that served during the Spanish-American War. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew this stuff before because I never listened carefully. <laughs> I knew a little bit of it, you know, but... And if you enjoy fishing, both of the lakes are stocked. A little bit of everything out there. Bass, trout, catfish, bluegill, and carp. 16 and older needs a fishing license, though. Make sure you got those. Park rangers go around and check for them every once in a while. Summertime's coming up. That means it's going to be catfish season out here. And wintertime is for the trout. Some of the waterfowl out there too on the lower lake today. As we approach summer, it's a little quiet when it comes to the duck department out here. A lot of them are migratory. We got a few groups of mallards and wood ducks that hang out here year round. We do get other visitors though, depending on the season. Different types of ducks, geese, and all other kinds of waterfowl. The park's quiet and the sun's out. The turtles may climb out of the water and sun themselves. The water level's nice and high today. I saw one turtle earlier, but it's pretty quiet out there right now. Maybe later if the sun decides to pop out. Oh, 
those arms and legs inside the train cars. Stay seated in the seat and parents keep a close eye on those kids. Tunnel clearance is tight. We don't want anyone getting hurt. We'll be back at the train station and making our stop here shortly. But first the tunnel, we'll hold on tight. to the right side of the train. That's the same side you boarded. Here we go. Watch your head step. 